everyone, Dr. Jeff here with you today. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year uh, to everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about something called the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint is a very important joint. There's two parts to it. It's, it's an inferior part and a superior part. And the, the sacro, or the, sorry, the ilium has to move on the sacrum. It goes front to back and goes side to side. So it, looking at it down from it kind of has an S pattern going through it. It's a very important joint in that it transfers all the energy from your legs up into your back. So everything comes up through your legs, has to go through these joints in your back. A lot of times these joints will get stuck or, or not work properly and people come in and they feel like their hips are really stuck or their hips are really stiff um, and they're not moving very well. Uh, again, it's a very important joint for transferring energy. Um, when the force comes up, gets stuck there, can't get in your back, get absorbed. Uh, sometimes it'll, you know, you'll get a little bit of back pain and it goes into your groin. Uh, almost feels like a hernia sometimes. Uh, the other thing that can happen is the force comes up and can't get in your back so it goes back down your leg and now it gets in the, in the gluteal muscles uh, and the piriformis muscle. And the sciatic nerve is a big nerve. It's, it's kind of this nerve here, this nerve here, that one, that one, and that one. It's, it's uh, five nerves kind of about the size of your baby finger. It goes down through your gluteals and generally it goes either right through the piriformis muscle or just underneath the piriformis muscle. That muscle gets tight, it can create a bit of a sciatic pain uh, or call a, a, a nerve flossing. So you get this kind of pain in your butt that kind of this kind of feels kind of funny into the back of your thigh, where it goes past your knee. That's strongly a sign that your, your SI joints are jammed up and not functioning properly. Um, generally, you get this from, from inactivity, so uh, too much sitting, uh, sitting at your desk all day, or you know, driving too much. And we're creatures of habit, we like to cross a leg over. So generally, you cross one leg over, it feels pretty good. You try and cross your other leg over, you notice it kind of feels funny because what's happening is your pelvis has shifted a little bit. You can't really get those muscles to go very well. Also, you'll find if you're standing at the sink and you're trying to do dishes, you find your back is getting feeling kind of funny, your legs are feeling kind of funny. It's generally it's telling you that your SI joints are jammed up. Uh, driving your car, you're driving your car and, and, and you can't really get comfortable. You want to take your hand and kind of put it under your butt and see if you can kind of find that release point. Uh, again, these are all signs that maybe your pelvis and your SI joints aren't working very well. And it's something that uh, you need to come and see us with. And... Uh, this is something chiropractors are very good at treating. Um, so if you find you're, you're having any of these symptoms at all, it could be that your hips are really tight, your SI joints are jammed up, and uh, you need to come and see us. You can always uh, book something, uh, whether it's at the office or book something online, and come in to have us look at it. Um, if you have any questions about today's video, you can always email me at jgoldswithy at goldsandwells.com, or you can talk to me on Facebook. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I've got your back.